My, my, uh, my son, when he was like seven, oh, my father-in-law is awesome. He uh, built, this, built this birdhouse for my son because my son loved creatures, he would say. And so we built this birdhouse. We're putting it up. I got the, like, the ladder out. We're like nailing it to the tree. We got a bucket. We put a whole bunch of bird seed in it. It was just amazing. So fun. And so I'm telling my son, okay, here's what we're going to do, bud. Every day we can climb up the ladder. We can take some bird seed. We can literally put it up on to the house and then cardinals and blue jays and whatever baseball team wants to come take over this house, you know, it'd be great. And so I'm like telling this and you all experience this as parents, you're talking, giving a lesson and you think your kid's listening, but he's not. And finally I look down from the ladder and this is what my son's doing. Here bird, come to our backyard. Hey, buddy, you can just come here. It's safe here. We got seeds. We got seeds. We got seeds. And I'm like, no, no, but, 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 but. Here's the deal. You take a little bit of bird seed. You put it up in the house. You want them to come live there. He goes, no, no, no. But think about it, Dad. We can have birds all over our backyard. And I was like thinking about this. And I started reflecting on it. And I'm like, wow, this is how we ought to be every day. This is how we have all of these seeds of grace. But some of us, we live our life not scattering seeds wherever we go. We live more like Barney Fife from the Andy Griffith show. You remember? Where he had like one bullet. It was like right here. He was like, Andy, do I get to use my bullet today? And he was like, try and find. Like, this is how we live. Like, I got one seed of grace. And when I find it, I'm just going to just chuck it at the person. You know what I mean? Like, we miss it. And the truth is, we should be going everywhere. Go to in and out Well, you're there, you're talking to someone, why not scatter seeds? You're in a conversation. I mean, I literally get rejected by my Uber driver all the time. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Because you know what? If I hear God, I want to say yes. Yep. I want to say yes. I want to scatter seeds. Life is so short of anything from 2020 has taught us. This world is more fragile than ever before. And if the people who have got grace are not scattering seeds, but they're just holding it to themselves, really? We're not the Hoover Dam. We are like these grace-filled machines to give it away.